So I pray my statement that give me grace, my statement that give me grace to organize a meeting for the community in this place. So they may come near the word of God, my statement that in spirit and in truth, sir. I pray my statement that state me a debt of God Almighty according to your divine purpose in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Sir. I pray my Savior God, because I know that there is no other God who can help me in this but you who called me. Jesus, Son of the living God, I speak your face right now. In heaven, I want you to hear me in my heart. I want you to hear me because the Bible says you are present in me. And I pray my Savior God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, sir. give me your grace, O God Almighty, to find such a day and evangelize this place. Call your people out for an event in this place, sir, so that we proclaim the goodness of Jesus Christ. Sir. You are God who answers prayers. You have answered me before, and you are going to answer me this time. For the Bible says, A man can only reap what he sows. My Savior, God, to you, my Savior, God, I saw in the kingdom of God, I saw. I want to reap a harvest of a sale, salvation of people, my Savior, God, in this place. People to come to you, people to come and listen to your word, my Savior, God, so that according to the book of Romans, chapter 10, verse 13 and 14, this thing shall be my Savior, God, in the positive direction. As we preach out the gospel, the my Savior, God, your people will come to hear you. As we preach out the gospel, your people will come to believe you. As we preach out the gospel, people will come to repent, repent of your sins. Masata rabo poshete, mari poshete re basata rabo posa, masata rabo poshaka tere maseke re manda, riba sote, riba basi kata raka sote kato romo seke pata, masanda reka sote pari kasa. My Savior, my God, I'm also praying my Savior God for servants of God. Wake us, my Savior God, in the vine and wake us, my Savior God, in the garden. Send my Savior God laborers, for there are many believers out there, my Savior God, who are attending church on a Sunday regularly, on a Sabbath regularly, but they're not going out to preach the gospel. I pray my Savior God, raise them up for those whom you've already appointed to this assignment in the Christian Fellowship for the Common Cause. I pray my Savior God, point them in the right direction. Steer up their souls, my Savior God, as we post out my material on the social media, as we post out material, my Savior God, door to door, whatever media we use, let those people whom you have already appointed to come and work in this ministry, my Savior God, in the Christian fellowship for a common cause. Let them come forth in the name of Jesus, my Savior God. Send us organizers, send us people who are gifted in various ways, my Savior God, to be able to fit in the work of the ministry, to be able to fit in the work that you have called, my Savior God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, and my Savior for every work that you bring out and for every assignment that my Savior God you call somebody else you have already prepared resources and we call for those resources my Savior God beginning from finances, materials, uh, buildings, uh, um, 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 megaphones, whatever we need to preach out this gospel my Savior God every resource we call forth in the name of Jesus my Savior you called me out to believe you you called me out my Savior God to do this assignment and I believe you can do it and because you have done it before when I was in Zambia in those in the 1986 all the way through to 1990 when he called me to pray over that nation and for such a length of time I prayed myself again and you raised so many people who are According to your spirit, you've already we also called and anointed, and we did the praying, my Savior, and to Zambia became the nation it is today. My Savior, we worship your name for this. I magnify your name for this. Jehovah, I worship your name because you are God who answers prayer. I pray for my wife, strengthen her, give her strength, give her power, the anointing of the Holy Ghost, open up her mind, my Savior, so she may understand and know that you are God. So carry my I pray for my daughter too, my Savior, God, in the power of the Holy Ghost. That in the universe where she is, my Savior God, your anointing shall greatly be upon her life and she shall do exploits and wonders for you. In Jesus' mighty name. I pray, my Savior God, for every member of the inter Christian fellowship for the common cause that my Savior God shall strengthen them, you shall lift them up, you shall provide for them, you shall fill them once again with the Holy Ghost and power in the name of Jesus so that they may continue serving you. My Savior, my God, I give you praise. My Savior, my God, I magnify them. My Savior, Taraboso, Kete Rimando, Sika Rakasoko, Pote Kerideska. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Let me worship God in this song.
set me free. You set me free. Set me free. Jesus has 
ascend his spirit right here on earth. We are in the age of the spirit, the time of the spirit, till the work of God is done. I am so grateful to be privileged to be given this opportunity to serve in his kingdom. To serve him is the ultimate purpose of man on earth. To worship him, to exalt him in our lifestyle, to do the work of God, it is the ultimate purpose of man on earth. For we are made in his own image. Ye are gods. The Bible says, Psalm 86 or 82. I'm going to call that one very important. How the Bible says, Psalm 86, verse 8. Among the gods there is none like unto thee, O Lord. Neither are there any works like unto thy works. The works that we see in the earth testifies of God. Jesus says, Believe me for the sake of the works that I do, because the works are visible. For the Apostle Paul also says, Faith without works is dead. Show me the works and I'll show you somebody who has got faith. And this is the purpose of God that we may produce the right fruits, the evidence of the works of God, so that the world may know that God has sent Jesus. And we are the salt of the earth, the light of the world. Look at the book of Psalm uh, chapter 82, verse 6. I've said ye are gods, and all of you are children of the most high God. But ye shall die like mere men and fall like one of the princes. Arise, O God, judge the earth, for thou shalt inherit all the nations. So, child of God, do not die like mere man. Do not live like a mere man. Do not live like ordinary. You are a child of God. The Bible says you are God. All of you are children of the Most High God. If you are born of the Spirit, born of God, you are a child of the living God. Ye are God. Therefore, function in the rightful calling of God, in the rightful definition of God. For Jesus has called you out. You are ecclesia, the called out one. In you, the Bible says, Jesus is the hope of glory. Jesus speaking to uh, Philip, have you not known the Father? I've been with you this long. If you see me, you see my Father. For I and my Father are one. The very works that I do, it's my Father who does them. For he dwells in me. And now, when Jesus was about to go, leaving the earth on the way to the crucifixion and resurrection. He prayed for the disciples. I'll quote this, and this is very important for us to know and live in the revelation of his will for our lives. John chapter 3, verse, John chapter 17. Oh, my Savior, I give you praise. My Lord, I give you praise. May I know you, my Lord. May I know the fullness of my calling. Men, I know my fullness as a child of God. O Satan, born of the Spirit of God. Listen to this. John chapter 17. Yes, he says, John 17, verse 21. The first he says, Lord, I pray for this here. The disciples that were with him that time. Then I say, neither, verse 20, neither pray I for this alone, but all, but for them also which shall believe on me through their word, which is us today now. Because we did not see the Lord physically, but they saw him. Then he says, that they may be one, who you and I, the body of Christ, the believers, you and I to be one as now, Father. As in me, you, my father, you are in me. He, the father is in Christ Jesus. So he says, Father, are, you are in me, and I in you. That they also may be one in us. So we are in him, in them, God the Father, the Son, according to the scripture. That the world may believe that you have sent me. Now, if you and I become united, in the purpose, in the family of Christ. The world see the love of God dwelling amongst the believers 
the ecclesia, the called out ones, then they will know that these people are of God and Jesus has been sent. But if we remain divided, we cannot testify. Therefore, let's unite as Christians, as believers, so we may send the love of God abroad to the people who don't know him. And because of that love, they will be attracted to us. When somebody is feeling hopeless, let them know that they can only find hope amongst the believers. For this is the grace that God has put upon the fellowship of the believers. When the believers are one in Christ, believers are one in God, believers are one with each other, then the grace of healing is in abundance. Grace of miracles is in abundance. They won't be short of good things in the body of Christ when there's a unity of the faith. So we are in God. It is in us. In the book of John, the very book of John, if you read it, it says, I will send you another comforter, even the spirit of truth, that when he comes in you, he will show you things to come. He is the paracrete. He is the comforter, the helper. He is in us. So when we have God in us, we have the power to do the very works that Jesus did, even greater works, because he promised John 14, verse 12. He says, verse 11, I said, Believe me that I am in the Father, listen to this, and the Father in me. Now, this time, he had not yet prayed that prayer, he had not died and raised from the dead. Now that is risen from the dead, we can now say, believe me that I am in the Father, that's just in the Father, and the Father in me, and us in Him. Now, he says, or else believe me for the very works sake. So we can say to the world, believe me for the works that I'm doing that God is in me. Therefore, a challenge raised to you, brother and sister in the Lord, to begin to produce the works that are of God. Distinct works that are good works according to the book of Acts chapter 10 verse 8. Our God anointed Jesus Christ of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and power who went about doing good, healing those who are praise of the devils. Because God was with him. Now God is with us, is in us. Now Jesus continues to say in the scripture, look, believe thou that I am in the Father and the Father in me. The words, the words that I speak unto you, I speak. Oh, sorry, I, I, I go back. It's 11, verse, verse, verse 12. He says, Very, very, I say unto you, he that believeth on me, the works that I do, shall he do also. And greater works than these shall he do, because I go to the Father. And whatsoever, verse 13, you shall ask in my name. The name of Jesus means the will of God. That is not simply saying, I ask this in the name of Jesus. No, it is asking according to his will. That which is in his will. This is the will of God. Jesus, give me the power. Give me the grace to do the works that you did. Even greater works. That's the will of God because he said it in here. And when you ask him that, you must go before him in repentance. Because sin can hinder progress in your Christian life. So he says, the works that I do shall he do also, and greater works. He even says greater works. The song I was singing here, um, composed by Chris Green, now in to with the Lord. He says, you have left the spirit of God on earth till the work is done. So even greater works than what the Lord himself did, we can do. Because he promised, this is the will of God. The challenge we have is to seek him and know the things that are greater than the works that he did. Listen to this now. And it says, Because I go unto my Father, and whatsoever I shall ask in my name, that will I do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. Now, when I do the works of God, the works of Jesus Christ, even greater works because of us of him, the Father is glorified in the Son. And, and when I accomplish that work as well, the Son himself receives greater joy because he has sent us now according to John 17 verse 18 I'll go back there John 17 verse 18 the Bible says 17 verse 18 the Bible says as thou hast sent me into the world even so have I also sent them into the world meaning you and I have been sent by Jesus Christ 
the apostles, Second Corinthians chapter five and verse from sixteen to twenty-one, testifies that we are the ambassadors of Christ, as if now God Himself is beseeching or reconciling the world back to Him by us. In other words, you and I do not step out to go and preach the gospel. The people cannot be saved, no matter how much God has planned it to be so, until we obey. Why? Because we are the sons and daughters of God. Ye are gods. So when you go and work with the Lord, the salvation of God in people's life shall be so. So obey, child of God, to step out and serve the God according to the call he has given you. If the assignment he has given you, make it clear. Make it clear upon the tablets. Make it clear and begin to pursue it. If you need to educate yourself in any form, start educating yourself. And if you need to do a, a adjustment in your timing, do so, so that you may fulfill the call of God upon your life. Become a valuable resource to the local congregation so that the body of Christ may function as a unity with many parts, but one. Father, I pray in the mighty name of Jesus Christ as your servants and other people who are yet to know you, recess of this preaching, that salvation will enter their lives. Salvation will be in their lives. They may come to know God. They may come to know God and the power that raised your son from the dead. The Bible says those who believe that same power now resides in us. And I pray, my Savior, open up my eyes of understanding, my own eyes, and the eyes of my brothers and sisters, the spiritual eyes that they may know to the calling that we might say that we've been called. We may know the power of God unto salvation. We may know this Christ who dwell in us. We may know his sovereignty. We may know his comfort. We may know his total love in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray. I pray. I pray. And I believe. For if you do not know Jesus, as you listen to this message, I ask that you kneel down and ask him. Ask him. Ask him. Repent of your sins. Ask him to be the Lord of your life. Ask him, call on him, seek him, and you shall be saved. Signing off. This is John, Dr. John McCormick of an apostolic mandate for inter Christian fellowship for common cause. Call of God. It's in Jesus' mighty name. I love you so much. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. For those partners who are working with us, praying with us, I pray that the Lord God Himself shall be the light in your life, shall be the light in your path shall provide counsel to your spirit, shall provide everything that you need. Is your Jehovah Jireh, is your Jehovah Nisi, is your Jehovah the banner of love over you. He shall protect you and guide you in the name of Jesus Christ. Keep praising God. Keep supporting the work of God wherever possible as God has given you his grace and strength. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen.